I tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word, since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada to the last words she ever spoke. I even listened in on your conversation with Aubrey. Nicola. What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's broadcast. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because she took everything from me! Everything! I had his attention! I had his respect! But she took it all. I used to be someone aboard this ship. But now... Now the time has come to take oh. back. Starting with these. If you do this, I will kill you. Is that a promise, Rosie? Scout's honor. <laughs> Cute. You forget that just like I led the exotic energy to the surgery room of your sister, so too am I leading exotic energy to you right here. You better hurry. Those things will be here any minute. Benny here will keep you coming. I had stayed across these two say they could claim what was mine. One leaf in, one more out. Closing the door? No. So we just need to follow the right path. Say so. Chapter 8 The Flowers of Persephone. Ada once warned me about the stubbornness of her sister. As always, I should have listened. I did not foresee you being able to journey halfway across the Helios, even despite my own efforts to prevent it. And because of that failure, m my failure, Ada is lost to us. Aubrey opened the doors that has allowed the contamination to spread. He is currently on his way to the tower, where he will attempt to use your sister's research to close the rift 
but I fear that he will be unable to grasp the immensity of Ada's work, and thus make a bad situation much worse. I am therefore on my way to do what I can to fix this, and in the process, reclaim Ada's research. I would tell you to stay where you are, in relative safety and the rest, but I'm fairly sure that won't happen. Damn right. We may be too late to save Ada's life, but we are not too late to save her legacy. I will be in touch. Couldn't you leave me that one of your devices that got rid of the time monsters? Let's see. Mm. Mm, like time judges. I promised Ada I'd get her research, and I did. I promised Ada I'd get him out, and I did. Now, what has all that work given me? A broken rib and a concussion. Hmm. At least I promised Aubrey I'd kill him. So let's see how that goes. Augmentation device for increased human stamina. Uh. Do you have one of those? I would appreciate. I would appreciate it if it did have those lungs. Oh no. That's that's the surgery room. Fertilized to create massive plants. So probably a. Uh, we have set collectibles. Amount set amount. How can I be here? In the past. I didn't bore the hero last knowing what would happen. Only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, A. I'll be back for you. It's going to work, Ada. I promise. You're right, Ada. None of this makes any sense right now. What were those flashes? Past? Present or future? And when did I carry you here? There's just so many questions. Still, I will keep my promise. I will get your research back. Hopefully, they hold the answers. Rose, how are your wounds? I'm afraid I'm not much of a doctor, but I did what I could to mend- I'm fine. If this is some weak attempt at keeping me from reclaiming Ada's research, then think again. 
On the contrary, I'm counting on your assistance. In fact, so is Ada. What do you mean Ada is counting on me? Ada is gone. Ada is dead. But she isn't gone. Her research into multiple time dimensions and exposure to the rift has changed things. Irreversibly so. She has triggered an event cascade that even I am trying to fully comprehend. But her research holds the keys to everything. So she said. Just help me get those notebooks back. That I shall. We will coordinate on how to best deal with Aubrey once you reach the tower. Tesla out. Mechanical implants to replace human muscle tissue. Sounds good, but oh, there's a big chance that unless proper metal is used that it would cause inflammation. And even some metals used now cause inflammation as years go by. I think also ceramics are used in replacing um, bro like when you have bones, broken bones that can't be fixed, they get replaced. What were they trying to do here? Harvesting Don't. electricity from plants? Um, seems like it. a jump. Okay, maybe we can go uh, the other way around. So I don't think we can open these. Not quite sure if I want to open them. No. Further to create resonance with brain synapses to promote clearer thinking. is rigged to keep the emergency doors open for a short time. Pull the lever and run. Break the quarantine. Break the quarantine. Finally, someone with sense. Wait, what do you mean, finally someone with sense? You did see the time judges that quarantine keeps contained, right? find that rail station to take me to the tower.
Yeah, that looks like a little guide. Oh, almost there. The station should be just up ahead. Yep. Switch to call the rail car. Evacuate. Does it tell when everyone is on board? Just wondering. Press the zoom command. There's the zoom command. The path of Ares. more like the, the power is draining from the tower and not towards it. And I didn't really listen to Tesla. <laughs> I was just adoring the views. the equations up there. that those fans are placed so conveniently.
Of course. What's he doing there? Oops. Wait, I can't go down there? Oh, I saw it. I think I saw something over there. I'm not entirely sure. But I think I did. Blueprint detailing the expansion of the Tesla Tower aboard the Helios. A blueprint detailing the internal functionality of the Tesla Tower. He's on the way, Aubrey. He knows. Oh, please. Is this all you've got left, Rosie? Pathetic. I'll get rid of you the same way I got rid of Benny if I have to. You can take your empty... That's it. Oh, so... So glad you are here. I think there must be something wrong with... Uh, Nicola? Sir? Waiting. Chapter 10 The Fall of Icarus. Aubrey, we have unfinished business. Ooh, fix the paradox. Eh. Uh, Ada's notes featured heart, so the love will fix the problem. You must admit this is as good of a, an idea. I'm here. As what do I do? You need to reset the magnetic oscillation. <laughs> Never mind. Just make all lights go red before pulling the auxiliary power switch. All lights red. Now where is that power switch? Rose, I need you down here now. Stairs on the right side. Go. Me? Come on, move. You lost your existence. Oh, 
Well, I'm honestly asking which table. On the table! Oh, here. There is no time for that. Go, Rose! You've got to go! I love you! I'll be fine! You go! made it. Almost. Okay, I'm trying to your switches. The rift is the way. So if we get a choice... Oh, there's two on either side. 
that's collapsed. That's burning, I don't know which is worse. I mean, I know which is worse, but... Oh well, I'm so lost, I don't care. So, where is that globe? This one? Suddenly and without warning. For that and so much to come, I apologize. You knew all of this would happen. That's my ticket out of here. Let's go. Do I start with it? This concludes Close to the Sun. I must admit, I really, really like walking simulators because in those the creators can put so much more into the details like the visuals, the sounds. I don't really appreciate the bugging of um, qui like those quick time let's call, call it quick time event quick time events during the escapes but what let's leave it like this it was a pleasant game and I am glad that none of my prediction came true What's in the darkest water? Okay. thank you very much stay alive and see you soon bye